Amethyst, and it's time for our December Astrological Tarot Readings for 2015. Um, I'm so excited this month. I'm going to be using a different deck. I am going to be using a deck that was gifted to me by a very dear friend and Grace. You have no idea how much I love this deck and how much I appreciate your thought. Um, it is Green Witch Tarot. It is inspired by Anne Mora. Um, I love her books, Natural Witchcraft and Green Magic, and, and it's so down to earth. They're wonderful books for beginners on this path, and this is just such a gorgeous deck. Um, the artwork is beautiful, and it's, it's so easy to connect with. And, um, and it's just, it's just um, beautiful. It's inspiring and it's magical. And, um, and when you think of all the work that goes into 78 masterpieces, actually, is what it amounts to. So thank you so much for this deck. And I think we're going to have some great readings with it this month. Um, if you haven't watched these videos before, I will tell you that I draw six cards for each of the 12 sun signs. But if you know your moon sign or your rising sign, there will be more than one of these videos that will be relevant or will resonate with you. And in order to help you find and calculate those signs, you will find links to free calculators in the description box below each individual video at my YouTube channel. And as always, these are so general, these readings. Um, and uh, even though they are general readings, um, I do go back for myself and I watch the video that's connected to my sun sign. So I'm amazed at how they resonate and uh, to the sign that I'm tuned to. But still, if you would like a personal reading with me that is... Um, totally tuned into you and to your energy or to a specific set of circumstances or a question in your life, then you will have to go to my tarot site, uh, tarot readings with amethystrain.blogspot.com. There's a wide variety of readings to choose from, ways and means that that I do readings, and um, there's also a wide variety of price ranges. So you can find something that suits you and your circumstances and your question and the way that you would like to receive your reading from me. I want to thank everyone for watching my videos and for subscribing to my videos and for sharing my videos. This is the only way that my YouTube channel is going to grow. And so as long as I know that people are watching these and it's worth my time to give these to you, um, I will keep doing this. So please keep subscribing, keep sharing, and keep liking. Thank you. Hello, Aquarius. Here You are first up, actually, for my December astrological readings, and I'm shuffling the deck. And we're going to find out what sort of energy, what sort of energy is here for Aquarius for December 2015. Energy for Aquarius. Okay, first card, card number one, five of pentacles reversed. I'll show it to you reversed, but I'm going to show it to you upright also. The five of pentacles is symbolic of hard times, difficult circumstances on the way, um, money issues, um, business issues on the negative side. It's, it's a time to pinch our pennies. This card tells us. Um, I'm also going to, um, as, you, as you know, if you've watched me read, those of you who know how I read, there will be pauses throughout. As I look at the card and just try to pull from it, that which is almost never traditional. Okay, this is a card. First, first of all, I'm getting the idea, Aquarius, that you suddenly feel very alone, very isolated. 
um, and you feel very cold also about um, something around you, whether it's a group of people, an individual, um, a circumstance that is no longer comfortable. You like it's like you've been taken away from the warmth, whatever wherever you were, and you were felt content. Um, that is no longer the case. Uh, the phrase being hung out to dry also <laughs> has come through for some reason. Being hung out to dry. Um, you feel like you um, are being kind of picked upon. You might also feel like you are outside of the circle. There is a circle and um, acceptance and warmth and containment and camaraderie. You feel outside of this. Um, and it's almost as though you've turned your back on it, actually. Uh, by doing this, um, you may also have affected whole other areas of your life, not just em emotionally and mentally with um, relationship connections to people. You may also have affected the financial side of your life. Um, that With this card, that's the biggest thing that, that I feel right now is that it has affected the financial state of your being. And also with this card, and for this month, Aquarius, I am also getting the feeling that this is a very significant month for you. This is also a very significant season for you. Um, any changes in, in your financial situation, it's going to touch you now in this winter season. Um, and that could be for some of you Aquarians. Uh, Aquarians, you will be going from plenty to tight times. For others of you, it will be the opposite. You're going to be going from tight times to um, here comes the money. So, so um, I see I see this movement of energy both ways. Um, you're also being watched. Um, someone, someone outside, outside and outside of the circle. Does that make sense? Someone outside of the circle that you are outside of is watching this. There's like, a, there's like a third party connected to this in some way, and they are watching all of these, um, actions, all of this drama transpire, and they're watching you to see your reaction and how you will handle it and what your decisions will be. Interesting. Card number two, two of pentacles. Oh no, excuse me, four of pentacles. Huh? Reading it upside down without my glasses. Um, I will show you the card upside down as I first seen it. And see, it is hard to read upside down. Now I'm going to show it to you right side up. And it's very, um, it's very affirming, uh, an affirmation that this card would just follow that one also. I've shuffled and shuffled and shuffled and cut the deck, cut the deck, cut the deck, cut the deck. Um, the Four of Pentacles is, is traditionally, it's a miser's card. It's a card that warns us to hang on to our money. It's a card to warn us uh, to be careful financially. So it's kind of like right on the heels of that one. Okay. Also, again, with this card, outside of this group that you were once in the midst of and you are now apart from is a third party farther out who is watching you and connecting with you. Um, they're connecting with you in some way and they are also, but they're held at bay. They're like not, either they're not physically near you or they you haven't totally accepted them and drawn them into your circle. You might be a little um, hesitant to trust them. This all might be something very new. But you have the option of opening the door and allowing this person in. But at the same time, I have a feeling that for some reason, money and uh, um, finances is one of the things that's holding you back from doing this, which uh, I don't understand. But if you Aquarians to whom this applies, that if you understand, that's all that counts. Um, I'm also getting the idea of someone who is rearranging finances. Um, some of you Aquarians may find yourself this month um, shifting accounts, setting up new accounts, switching banks, 
um, um, switching um, financial investment institutions, um, switching attorneys, anything, anything related to business or money or finance um, in any way, you're going to be changing it up in the month of December. Card number three, the sun. This also has come up um, reversed. The traditional meanings for the sun are just pure over the top happiness. And um, the old cliche is that even reversed, the positive vibes from this card are such that um, even the worst circumstances can't totally squelch the possibility of happiness. And, and I believe that. Whatever you're coming through here with what we've already discussed, happiness like is in sight down the road, but um, you might have a long time traveling that road to get there. Um, and also, I'm getting the feeling that for some of you, there are some people that are never quite happy or content. You think you want something, and um, when you finally get it, it's not quite what you think it is, or there are strings attached, or... Or by the time you get there to that point, you're ready already to move on to another point and another, another set of circumstances, another phase of life, another relationship. Um, um, I'm getting the restless feeling of not quite content, not quite happy. That's the underlying theme um, for Aquarius this month. It's just a lot of, of um, undercurrents um, that you strongly feel, but you may not be vocalizing this to the individuals around you. Okay, let me look at this card. The hawk has flown. If you will notice, uh, the one thing pivotal to me, and, it, and it, this is showing up okay, but still not as clear as I'm seeing it, is a beautiful hawk. It's just flying straight for the sun. It's trying. It's trying to uh, spread its wings. It's trying to uh, to reach this pinnacle of happiness that maybe you've always searched for your whole life. But uh, the hawk has uh, been sprung from the cage and you are headed to happiness. Also with this card, there is um, for timing. My timing usually always comes in moon phases or seasons when it does come with tarot. Although all of this financial stuff is just feels connected to this month of December or the season of winter, um, I am also um, getting the feeling that whatever you're seeking for your happiness, total happiness, whatever is going on under the surface in your mind, this is not something that is going to come around full circle, not something that you're going to attain until farther into next year, autumn time. Um, also, the phrase back to your roots, uh, back to your roots, um, wh whatever you, um, if um, you Aquarians have families in the city, you're going to go back to the city. If you are um, country people, you are going to go back to the country. Wherever your roots are, if you maybe perchance weren't even from this country, if you, because I have a lot of people who watch who are from different countries, wherever your roots are at, um, some of you Aquarians are going to be returning these roots. For some of you Aquarians, a lot of everything that is transpiring or inspiring through this reading is going to center around the hearth, the home, the family. Card number four, the moon reversed. Oh my, the moon is always one of my, this is so gorgeous. The moon is always has been one of my favorite cards and it's, it's like a double edged sword. Um, the happy uh, positive meaning for me always connects me to uh, the full moon and um, the goddess and her faces through the moon and her phases through women's lives, goddess spirituality. The negative side of this card has always been attached to me um, in the form of energy that implies untruthfulness, someone who is deceptive, someone who is lying, um, someone, some dark energy that you have to be careful for. So it's like a double-edged sword, this card, and yet this is my favorite card. So I'm going to look at it just for a moment. 
and the phrase. Um, there are other fish in the pond. So if you've caught something that it, uh, it's kind of like a metaphor. If you have caught something, whatever it is, whether it's a new job, a relationship, um, um, a business, uh, another set of circumstances that's unique to you. This is uh, such a general reading. There are so many scenarios. Whatever you have caught, there are more fish in the pond. So if this is not what you were expecting, this um, this fish is either much larger than you thought or way smaller than you thought. Uh, take it off the hook and throw it back. There are more fish in the pond. You don't have to lock your life into something that you don't feel, <clears throat> feel sure about, that you don't feel happy with, that you have misgivings about. I'm always amazed at the people who feel locked into situations that an outsider can look at and see ways out. Um, but I know it's so much easier said than done when you're in the middle of it and you are the one um, within those circumstances. Sometimes it just feels like there's no way out, but there is. To almost any set of circumstances, there is a way out. Two faces. Um, there is the idea of two faces has also come to me with this card. Um, uh, someone may be telling you one thing and acting in one manner towards you and another behind your back. Um, two faces usually implies someone who will talk behind your back, um, someone who is undermining you in some tremendous way. Also, the idea to pause, stop, just take um, a, a, a certain a length of time where you take no action. You have time to think, you have time to observe, you have time to make a game plan. Card number five, the star reversed. Uh, the star, traditionally, it's a card of hope and promise. Reversed, it means that it's not going to come to you easily. Um, as you can already imagine, this has been a very interesting read. For my first read up for December, it's just full of so much. Um, for December, the idea that the waning crescent moon will be of significance to you. That time period when the moon is um, fading, when the moon is, is on the wane, um, if you're going to make decisions, that will be the time when you will do it. If the changes that you are contemplating, um, that will be the time that they will come about. That will be the, the moment of action, a pivotal moment for you in December. Uh, for some of you Aquarians, is the waning moon. Also, the idea of trying to handle or fill two pots at the same time. Sometimes this card uh, brings this up to mind for me. Someone who's trying to take care of something over here while they're taking care of something on the other side. And um, you're dividing your time, you're dividing your attention, and so you're going to slip up either on one side or the other. Um, you're not going to give... 100% of your attention to a set of circumstances or an individual or a relationship um, and so you can't you can't you can't go you can't have your cake and eat it too <laughs> and so that just popped into my head so Aquarius you cannot have your cake and eat it too um, there's something very significant in your life and you're gonna it's gonna require all of your focus 100% of your attention if you divide your attention up between um, this individual or these circumstances and another set of circumstances or an individual it's not going to work because something is something that needs your full attention is not going to be giving it so look through your life what in your life right now it needs 100 percent of your attention if you're going to make it work card number six that <laughs> the wild hunt uh, and actually, this is very symbolic of the tower in a traditional set of cards. The wild hunt. Wow, wow, wow. Okay, all the 
all the decisions that you make um, for this month with these cards, all of the decisions that you make, um, all the, the intuition, that little voice in your head, whatever you listen to, whatever you decide, um, whatever you do, whatever you say, those are all your own choices. Your choices are going to determine um, the outcome of all of this. It's like all hell is going to turn loose with everything, and, and maybe this is good. Um, uh, what I'm picking up from this is that when the shit hits the fan, you'll finally have to make decisions, and, and maybe you need this catalyst in order to make decisions. Some people will put off decisions and put off decisions until something really happens and and it forces them to make a decision. And, and this is something I feel that you're not going to be able to move on from until you make a decision. You have to decide. You have choices, choices to make. Um, also, the idea that it, it is okay to leave. Um, I don't know what this is referring to. It could be um, um, employment. It could be um, a family-related, relationship-related. It's okay to leave. Sometimes there's a, situations in life where if we get embroiled in them, it's going to have more negative effects on our life than any positive effect. And it's okay to step back. It's okay to leave this situation. But you're going to come to a point, most of you Aquarians, where you are going to have to make choices and decisions. So start thinking. And that's where I'm going to end the reading for December 2015.